This is a pre-drywall inspection. What we're looking at right now is the HVAC supply lines that have not been installed near our heat loss area. Instead, they're on the other side of this room. There's one here, this is the living room. There's another one here, and there's another one here, and that is return. So, living room, this the conditioned air from these supplies will never wash across this room and go into the return. These should be located near the heat loss area. And we're gonna go into the master bed. Same thing, no heat run, no heat run. We have two heat runs and here is our return. Conditioned air is gonna run across here and go right into here and it's gonna completely void this entire section of this room of any conditioned air. Very poor install. It's this way in two other locations. I'm going to take you to one of the small bedrooms and we're gonna see that we have quite a large, well, it's not too large, but um, here's our source of heat loss. We have a window. That's our supply, that's our return. They're two feet apart. Air from that supply will never properly condition this part of the house. Same thing, this is our source of heat loss. This is another bedroom. I'm gonna stand in the corner and what do we have? We have our supply and return. The supply is located approximately two feet from the return. It was the same with this bedroom over here. Envision an invisible duct that goes from the supply to the return because that is what is going to happen. When I measure this with a thermal camera on the closing, I'll probably get, let's say, maybe 55, 58 degree air coming out of here. I'll measure this. Guess what temperature it's going to be? It's going to be about 60 degrees because the air is going to come right through here and go into here. Never enter any part of this rest of this living area. If this was installed properly and we had this supply line near our heat loss with a thermal camera, this usually comes up around room temperature, around 70, 75 degrees because taking that warm air, pulling it across and going into the return. This is a pre-drywall inspection. This is one of the nation's either first or second largest builder. And just for fun, this is how they install wall anchors. So it's missing. It's got the square plate. It needs to have a nut on it. We also need to have one within 12 inches of this end plate. And oh, let's look over here, see what's going on over here. Here we're missing everything, the square washer and the nut. And let me show you what, we have some more. <laughs> There's one over here. Here's what it should look like. Interesting, pipe. This is a laundry tub in the garage. It would be awfully nice if that pipe was actually in the wall, wouldn't it? So all they gotta do is just cut this off here, use a couple 22s to swing it over and straighten it out. But, now we're gonna have a nice big bulge in the wall inside of the, um, the garage.